Well, Pepper, another fantastic victory on the road. What was the key to it? Well, massive credit to to the whole team, the staff, and all the players who we understood the conditions that they were playing tonight, weather-wise and, and pitch-wise, and we knew that we had to be a little bit more solid in defence and, and making sure to chase the, that clean sheet and avoid mistakes at the back and sac sacrificing a little bit our offensive football, but it was needed under the conditions and knowing that. Um, any mistake that any team would do would, would cost them the game. And it was very important for us to avoid those mistakes, to make sure that we lock our defence, that we would give solid and put the pressing in the, into the right areas and always chase, because of the weather, always chase anything that could be possible. And, and I'm happy that that we stick to the plan and and we, thought we took the three points, which is uh, very good. As you mentioned, because of those conditions, it was very much an attritional game and it was a, a case of just minimising any mistakes. Yes, absolutely, because I think we work very hard as a team to to have that desire and that, that mentality to, to defend our goal at all costs. And a clean sheet now proves that uh, we can do it away from home and, and it was very needed today and, and the conditions uh, we will have been fooled if we will try to play with another kind of game today here and, and it, it, it proved to be to be right and, and the team was patient enough and, and we started to have a push after the 60 minutes where we know that uh, we could catch them on any little mistake or a little bit open and I'm happy that that, that, that chance came to us and we were clinical enough to put it in. Let's talk about the goal that settled it. Jude Bellingham chases a lost cause, gets the ball feeds it into Scott Hogan, Scott Hogan, and what a turn, what a finish. Yes, and it just means for Jude that we never say never in this team, and, and we chase, and he was quicker than them, and he caught them by surprise. Without, with one touch, he bet two players, beat two players, and, and put a fantastic ball for Scott Hogan, <clears throat> who was alone with a lot of space in the box, and only one defender. Um, obviously, they would not be happy to be that, that open when Scott Hogan gets that ball because he's, he's very clinical and he, and he just proved it. He gave us the, the goal and then the team uh, worked hard to, to make sure that we kept that that goal. And we, still, we still never refused to, to catch them on a second break. But obviously the conditions of the pitch and, and, the, and the weather uh, forced us to, to defend that result and that's what we did until the end with, uh, with the success and, and, and an excellent way to be fair. Now, one man doesn't make a team, but what an impact Scott Hogan has had. Three goals in three games. Yeah, I think it complements very well Juki. Now we have a threat in behind, now we have a threat as well in between and, 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 and in the box with crosses like Juki. I think it helps to balance the team because uh, the more the threat you can have up front, the more dangerous you are and the more balance you can keep to be safer as well and to be more solid. Um, slowly the team is, is catching... Um, a good level of form with the use of the wingers as well and and the two midfielders and the back line who are doing a, a, a very superb job in understanding how to lock up positions and even when we are attacking how to to manage to stop any counter-attacks and I think we're working hard as a team and fighting every game and, and that's what took us here. And I know pretty much you mentioned complacency but people are now looking up the table, you're edging Further forward, um, you're looking beyond. You know, you're looking in the top six. Is that is that a doable proposition? Well, we were very hard to to put right a bad run that we had in Christmas, and it's been very hard. And 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 we fixed a lot of the mistakes, a lot of things that we were doing. And thanks to that, uh, we got ourselves in the in the moment that we are. That we, I think, we are stable. We could say that we're very close. Obviously, if not done to to be able to stay in the league, which is our first target. And we've got to keep the same mentality that took us here, stay game by game and not dream about what's above us or fear about what's behind us. Just focus on ourselves. Now it's Brentford. Today it was 1,350 fans here with us on these conditions, driving from Birmingham. And we know that St Andrews, we play a very tough game now against Brentford and we need to get together with all the fans and, and fight for, for our points at home and, and stick with that mentality to game by game and, and forget about nothing else and don't, don't think about playoffs or don't think about catching this or don't think about avoiding relegation. Let's focus on game by game, three points per game and fight as much as possible to get the three points. If we don't get them, then get them on the next one and stay always in, in game by game mentality. Check the table in the last day.